guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today is Monday, December 6th, and I haven't done a day in the life vlog in a long time, and I thought today would be perfect because it's Monday, and usually Mondays are a little chill because as you guys probably know, my husband works on the weekends, so Mondays and Tuesdays are usually our days to go and do things, but today we are actually staying home because I do, he has some work to do and I have some work to do, so I've already done a few of my morning routine things as far as like eating breakfast and posting on Instagram on both my account and my work in progress account, which reminds me if you are not following me on Instagram, make sure you do so on both accounts because I post on, I have a new account called um, work in progress, which it was supposed to be something else, but now it's this. I'm posting every day. I post, I pull a card from my deck, my I am card deck, and I share it there. So if that's something you guys are interested in, make sure you follow me there accounts if you want to. So I've done those things, but today what I'm doing now, it's a little hectic out there. As you can hear, babies are crying, things are happening. So I'm in my room, I'm gonna do my workout. My neck is a little stiff, so I'm not doing a I'm not doing like a full workout. I'm just like doing a bunch of stretches because my upper body is really stiff and the baby is screaming. But anyways, um, and I'm doing it in here in my room. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and maybe do the dishes. I have to do laundry too. And then I have to edit a video and then I have to write. So I just thought I would take you guys along with me since I haven't done one of these in a long time. So let's get started with the very first thing, which is my workout. That was so good. It was a short little workout, but I needed it so bad to stretch my back and I feel so much better. So maybe that's my advice for you. Even if you are, I mean, unless you're like in a lot of pain, I know that sometimes I'm in just too much pain to do anything, but if you are in pain, but you can still move and you think you can do it, go ahead and do it because you'll probably feel so much better when you're done like right like when i woke up my neck was like so stiff and i was in so much pain but now i feel so much more loose and <laughs> ready to take on my day so i'm going to clean this up and then i am going to i think i hear somebody doing the dishes already so i don't have to do them which is great and i'm going to see if my daughter's not doing laundry so that i can start laundry and if that's all, you know, if I can't do laundry, then I'm going to go and start editing a video. And yeah, let's go. put in a load of laundry. I did my morning to-do list, what I need to do, and now I'm gonna make myself a green juice because I bought a bunch of stuff to start making it again. I had been making it, but not like consistently, but this is the month where I get myself back on track, so let's go.
I just wanted to say something really quick as I sip my green juice. The other day, on Saturday, I did not feel like doing a single thing. So, even though I kind of felt like I needed to do something, I was like in bed all day doing nothing and eventually, I even posted a reel about it. I'll pop it up here so you guys can check it out. I was just having a lazy day and it wasn't one of those lazy days where it feels good because you're like, oh, I'm just gonna, I've been working all week and I just wanna sit down and relax and just chill, which I highly recommend that you have chill days. But this just felt, for me, it kind of felt like, not, it didn't feel right. I was just being lazy and not doing the things that I felt like I should be doing. So it, it, you get into this guilt place where you don't feel good relaxing. So eventually, I don't even know what time it was, around five, I think it was four or five, I got out of bed and I started writing. And what transpired after that was really exciting because I started writing and I really started getting into my story, my new Christmas story that I'm writing that I've been, you know, documenting here for you guys. But then I decided my little, ne my little nephew, <laughs> my grandson, <laughs> he's a little artist. He loves to create things. So I asked him if he wanted to help me create a cover for the book as inspiration because I really wanted to just get a feel for the book so we sat down and we started creating the cover and play with it and the best thing not only did the cover come out amazing because he's that good um, I also figured out the title of the novel which is something that I've been wondering I've been playing with for for at least a month and a half since I decided to write the story I was like what could be the title what could be the title and nothing was coming to me but then finally, as we were creating the title, it came to me. So that is my little um, advice for the day. Sometimes you don't feel like doing something, but when you get yourself out of your funk and you actually do it, amazing things can happen. Like for me, the title of my book, and I have a beautiful inspirational cover that I can carry with me until you know I get to actually create the cover for the book and publish it and do all the things and who knows maybe I will use his creations as the actual cover because it came out adorable and I will share it with you guys later on as I share the title and more about the book but for now I'm gonna get back to uh, or start editing videos I think what I'm gonna start doing I'm going to start doing a Sunday series all about how to get ready for the week and how to refresh and it'll always have like an inspirational message for you guys so that's what I'm doing now is I am going to start editing some videos and not only did this go up on Thursday but I am also sharing a new video on Sunday and it going forward it will be like that Thursday and Sunday Thursday and Sunday but in January I think I have something special planned I haven't quite put it together yet but once I do you guys will know what it is so let's get back to work All right guys, it is 3.40 and I wrote 
1331 words and I'm really happy with that I fixed a couple things that I had written prior that I changed my mind about but it's going good I'm super happy with the way it's going right now I am at the part where I'm at the fun and games part of the story which is the middle part of the story if you guys don't know what the fun and games is what I'm referring to I'm sure you do if you've watched my channel for any amount of time it's all about the um Save the Cat writes a novel beats, but I am at the fun and games part, so I am starting to do that. And that, honestly, I've said it here before, it is not my favorite thing to write. That middle part is always like a little stressful for me to write just because I don't think it's that much fun, but I'm going to make it fun. I am going to, because I did my plan, I did my outline, I know exactly what I'm doing. I have a couple ideas on how I'm going to make this fun because my favorite part is the as when I'm writing a book it's always that all is lost moment where everything seems like it's over I love that moment so I am not gonna obviously I'm not gonna make it to an all is lost moment in the funny games part but I am going to make some things happen in there so that not only it's fun for me to write but it's fun for the reader so with that said, I am going to call it a day on this vlog. Remember to swing back on Sunday because I am doing a day in the life uh, vlog, but it's more about reset for the week. I am going to give you guys some uh, motivational and inspirational reset tips for starting the week off right so if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you do so also make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified when i do upload and if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and also remember every thursday it will be videos like this writerly videos sunday will be inspirational and motivational videos and yeah that's it and i'm so excited because one last thing before i go we're expecting snow this weekend I can tell already that the temperature is going to start changing as you can see I've been showing you guys it started out kind of sunny and it's been going down all day it's it looks ugly outside and this weekend we're expecting the first snow of the season and I'm so excited so yeah well that's it I'll see you guys again on Sunday and then on Thursday next week until then stay safe